Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, Saturday, the 29th of September, and uh, <clears throat> out here doing some of the morning chores. Wanted to go ahead and show you our uh, new addition. So, you know, I wanted to apologize. I haven't been uploading that uh, frequently, but I've been really busy around here. And uh, this past uh, weekend, we had tragedy with one of our goats. <clears throat> the pup, Weston, had gotten a hold of one of them and unfortunately it didn't make it. Uh, we further went on and uh, rehomed him to a good home here locally. So Weston's no longer with us either. Now we just have Axel, but he just, he would go on uh, random spurts where he'd snag up a chicken. And uh, a few le weeks later, well actually it was about a month later, he got up an another chicken and then the goat. So he was just not a good fit for us here. Uh, we can't be having that. And uh, what I want to go ahead and show you uh, the new additions we got. <clears throat> so there's Daisy, and uh, here's these two are uh, San and <clears throat> Alpine mixes. And I believe the daughter has named them Sunshine and Mila. So there's our new additions. I'm gonna get ready and give them some grain and then move them over to uh, their fenced in area where they can eat some brush and such. But today uh, I think I'm gonna to try to get into some firewood. Um, it's been raining uh, here on Eastern Ohio for the last, I think four, four to maybe five days. This weekend looks nice though, so hopefully I can catch up on some firewood and mowing the grass and all kinds of other chores that I'm getting behind on. Of course, a lot of you probably experienced the same thing with all this rain we've had, but uh, that's what we're going to get into today. All right, stick around, guys, and we'll get into something. So before, uh, if y'all remember, Daisy was the one who was uh, awfully skittish, but now she's always right by my side, and the other two, they're skittish, but they follow her. So we got our grain, and uh, we're going to move them along to their little pasture site. Come on, girls. They, uh, they seem to be doing pretty good so far. Um, I'm hoping they're going to be good milkers here in a few years. Watch them. They, uh, Daisy knows where she's going. I've been breaking off these tulip poplar saplings and uh, letting them clean that up. I want to go ahead and show you the progress they've made on this so far. So they pretty much cleared it out um, yesterday before I broke down saplings. There really wasn't anything uh, below the four or five foot mark there. And I'm going to start breaking those down, letting them clean up the brush, and then I'll cut out the sapling and uh, probably chip it later on. Those two like the grain and Daisy's going for the good stuff. My plan uh, last weekend was to move them to that area there, but uh, with the goat getting injured and trying to care for her, um, took up a lot of time and uh, I didn't get around to it and with the rain we've had still haven't gotten to it so maybe I'll get to it today but like I said I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep breaking those down for them to clean them up and then <clears throat> move them later on I found out something neat yesterday these two trees here in the backyard never knew what they were and uh, turns out I believe this one over here has uh has grown acorns and let's see if i can show you that one up there i believe it is right there anyways the real fuzzy looking spiky acorns i looked it up and i think they're a burr oak they'll grow pretty big and uh they're a member of the white oak family that's gonna be really good for uh to have them drop on acorns. Maybe I'll uh, plant some more saplings throughout the woods, but 
yeah, I wanted to give you all that update and show you the progress the goats have been making. Here's a view of the inside before you couldn't even see through here. They have just done awesome work. That used to be a bunch of briars in there. Clean it down to just a little stick sticking out now. Over there is where I started uh, really cutting them down the saplings to work on. Hopefully they'll clean that up today. But yeah, this is just amazing what they'll do in a little bit of time. Right now I'm walking the fence to make sure I don't have any grounds on it. Oftentimes sticks and stuff will fall on this. <clears throat> Make it lose its effect and efficiency, but it's just the, one of the cheaper solar chargers I got at Rural King, and man, does it work good. All right, everyone, well. Also, I wanted to let y'all know, uh, this afternoon, we're gonna go out to mom and dad's place and uh, saw some lumber. I got a uh, an elm and a couple ash logs, and out there, there's a couple oaks that I've uh, gathered up and some maple but just gonna try to get a bunch of rough cut to uh to build the inside of their goat barn hoping to get a start on that real soon all right everyone i just got in from uh cutting a little bit of firewood and took a load in with the rhino sorry i didn't take you all along with me but uh figured you've seen a good bit of firewood and there's plenty more to come but uh anyways here's that saw log we're going to take out the mom and dad's today <clears throat> it's a little over 12 feet long i'm going to cut it down probably uh 11 foot that way I can get a good 10 foot board after it checks and everything but I really only need 8 foot but uh, I figured it's a decent log might as well make it 10 foot and who knows I might need it if not I'll just cut off the extra and maybe use it somewhere else but we're gonna go ahead and trim this up get the uh, access off of it and load her up she was just had a yellow jacket trying to get all nasty with me <laughs> I'll go ahead and first and uh, trim off, um, I don't know, four or five inches on this edge, and then we'll take off the rest on the other side.
Got it flagged and loaded it all up. Looks like uh, Axel's gonna go with us. He just tried to kill a yellow jacket. Good boy. You're gonna get stung. Crazy boy. All right, we'll see you out there.